where are we at, I guess, first of all, to set the stage in terms of the, the high path avian influenza outbreak this fall and the, the situation right now across Canada? Well, I, again, uh, this year, uh, it's uh, had a significant impact, I would say, in uh, multiple provinces across the country, BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, uh, you know, into the Maritimes. So this is now uh, the fourth going on the fifth uh, winter that we've seen uh, this particular strain of avian influenza uh, sweep uh, not just across Canada, but around the world. Uh, Europe is being hit pretty hard right now. The U.S. sees cases. So uh, it, it's not going away. Uh, perhaps in the past, you could have considered that a uh, strain would run its course in, in the wild birds and it would go, it would go away, but this one's not. So it's it's not good. Are, are we making any progress or does it feel like we're making any progress in, in kind of getting to the other side of, of it? Like you say, having run its course or, or maybe coming up with new approaches to, to fighting it or mitigating it, keeping it out of barns? No, that, that's, that's really the frustrating thing uh, that, that I see is that, you know, the, plot, the, the way we approach this is based on policy from essentially the 1950s. And, and you know, some minor operational things may have changed, uh, maybe kind of how they approach a case, but uh, ultimately it's still the same. It's depopulation uh, with a positive diagnosis. And, you know, that, that to me, it's not sustainable. Uh, something has to change, uh, and we, you know, there are even influenza vaccines, commercially licensed vaccines out there, and and, and we've made no progress at all in in, in looking those, looking at those, looking at implementing those, 